Nelly here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Thousand- Oh no! <laughs> I meant to jump! I'm so sorry, Gumbella. <laughs> Wait, I actually meant to jump and not hit her with a hammer. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Um, I feel really guilty. In the last episode, we got our next crystal star from the Glitz Pit. And in true champion fashion, I'm quitting while I'm ahead and going home. <laughs> I'm leaving at the top, baby! So it's time to hop on the blimp and head off to greener pastures because Mario has better things to do than to sit here and beat people up all day. Granted, it was a pretty sweet deal because we're, you know, we're really good at that. We're really, really good at beating people up and making a whole bunch of money. Uh, apparently, who knew that uh, Mario has a future in wrestling slash fighting slash, you know, uh, <laughs> all that good stuff. But, um, for now, instead of pursuing his newly found career, Mario needs to go and save the world, or at least Princess Peach, and find the rest of the Crystal Stars. So, we're going home. Here we are, back in Rogueport. Clearly, that's home for us now, right? I mean, the Mushroom Kingdom is home for us, but Rogueport is our temporary home of choice. So, we're popping out here, and before we head off to our next major area, we do have a few things to take care of. You all know the drill by now, right? We do a thing, we get a crystal star, and then we go back, and then we have things to do to, uh, like, side things and things. Mari, you hear that noise? That's totally an email from Princess Peach. How do you know? Oh, it's actually probably the ringtone. Uh, uh. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the Axnots, they're planning to take over- Take control of the world! Man, I totally just read that completely poorly. It's to that end that they're seeking the Crystal Stars and trying to claim a legendary treasure. I still don't know what the treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the Crystal Stars. I will gather what information I can. Princess, don't still eat. What? They want to rule the world? That does not sound like a friendly plan. No, it doesn't, does it? <laughs> Granted, I feel like we probably could have inferred that from, you know, people going after the Crystal Stars and apparently it being some legendary treasure. I feel like it was very much inferred already. Uh, wrong button. Thank you, Goombella. We want to slip down here first before anything else. Remember this place? Well, there is a ledge on the other side. I forgot about our little wheel. Uh, here we go. What's the button? That's the button. Okay. So, now with Yoshi, we can get to the other side for a... Uh, not a crystal star, a shine sprite! Very excited about being able to get over to this area because also... Pop down into this pipe and go across. I love waiting for for platforms that are way too slow. I love this for me. Anyway, we can already see what we're after, right? Frick off! All right, cool. I love that for me. I love... <laughs> I love missing the platform and taking even longer. I'm truly on brand. There we go. Yeah! We got a star piece, so we, we've seen that in the background the last time that we popped in here. Um, but clearly we weren't able to access it. Patience. Why, why is patience so hard? Can anyone answer that? Why is patience so freaking hard? I feel like, I feel like whatever stat goes into patience, I basically dumped that stat and said, yeah, just put it all into stubborn instead. Put all of those stats right into stubborn and I'll be a-okay. Uh, but also we have this room, which is just a warp pipe. Read the sign. It's to Twilight Town. But if we try to investigate this at this point, we get kicked right back out. The pipe rejected me. Uh, uh, all right, Baka. Thanks a lot, Baka. It's not like I wanted you to like me, Baka. It's not like I need the acceptance and approval of Ow, my foes. Oh, wait, what are you giving me? Huh? Oh, 
Oh, I got more coins. Threefold. How many do I get? <gasps> and I got a sleepy sheep. Oh, very cool. That's actually a pretty neat effect. Also, we're freaking rich, by the way. Uh, now I'm going back up into a pipe that, you know, accepts me for who I am and won't reject me. Harumph. And we're back in Rogueport. And look who it is. What's up, bro? Well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Plump Belly Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty with that one, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. I'm, uh, Luigi, I am always here for your long stories. Please, regale your tales. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on the Strudel continent, we made to Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hitsa. <laughs> He said the beast demanded the, uh, he offer up his own daughter as a sacrifice too. So of course, being heroic, I offer myself up to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now the custom wants her sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. Yo, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird way to word that. Uh, I look so good, I fooled our, fo our foes and got it in Yitz's lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Chiffon really chafes, bro. I finally found Hita, and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. Now, before we continue his uh, monologue, can we just talk about his pose? Now, th we've seen this at various points throughout the entire game already, but this version of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door adds a lot of, like, new poses and animations for various characters, and I adore it. I absolutely love this, right down to the detail of making Luigi proudly cross his arms and do little small nods. I think it's adorable. I think that's really cute, and I love these new animations that we have. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up fangs bare to attack, and at, at that moment, I definitely lunged left. His gaping mouths smashed into one another, and he vanished into a cloud of smoke. A shiny plate fell down on the spot where Heath's body had been had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it, and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it, and she was sort of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair for the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think I... Oh, I kind of zoned out there. Um, so yeah. We set a sail again after ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here in a rogue port. And here I am. Want to hear about something else? No, I'm good. That's enough story for one day. <laughs> I love Luigi's stories, even though he is clearly lying through his teeth. Let's see what your version of the story is. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. Oh, like a cherry bomb. He's a bomb bomb who's a cherry and his name is Jerry, like a cherry bomb. I love you. Wait, I actually really love this design. I'm a bomb bomb from Plum Belly Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down, but you would be too if you'd seen Luigi's big bridal stunt show. He's so clumsy in heels. He was like a wobbly force of nature, falling down everywhere, knocking things over, tumbling into people. Now I have an obligation to tag along and clear the area if Luigi is so much as glances at a stiletto. Come on, man, don't throw that shade. Do you know how hard it is to walk in stilettos? Like, I never owned a stiletto in my life, but when I was a kid, I used to steal my mom's stilettos and just try to walk in them just for fun. And, oh God, <laughs> I, I mean, I wasn't outside, so I didn't eat dirt. But I definitely ate carpet. It was not good. It's very hard. Somebody has to be the herald of, of the coming wobble, uh, wobble apocalypse. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. So honestly, in comparison to the other party members that Luigi had, he seems less angry and more just concerned, which is honestly kind of sweet. I, I have a feeling that this party member specifically kind of likes Luigi or at least, you know, respects him but it's just like yeah he's a disaster 
No, 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 I didn't watch your story again. I wanted to see what, what Goombella had to say about you. That's also the wrong button. That's Jerry, Luigi's bob -omb buddy. He's a little different from most bob -omb's. He seems rattled and a bit bruised, as if he's taken several lumps to the head from a clumsy bridal decoy. Speaking of which, I wonder how graceful I would be as a bride. <laughs> oh, Goombella. You'll find out someday, I'm sure. <laughs> you, you have sass for days, and a lot of people like that, so you know what? Go for it, girly. Go for it. Oh, uh, all right. Who do I want? You know what? Let's get, let's get you out for now so that I can ride off into the sunset a little bit faster than I would on foot. Okay, here we are on the eastern part of town, and I do believe that we have three shine sprites, right? Right, right, right. Oh, we sure do. He'll be able to use mini egg to make your enemies tiny, which I don't quite remember what that does. I think that it lowers defense. It might lower defense and attack, or it might just be attack. I don't know. It, lo it lowers something. We'll find out later. I'm not pressed at this moment <laughs> to find out because uh, I'm definitely going to be using that. All right. Chazumi! I love me a Shazubi animation. Yeah, little guy. Get it. Get your get your power up. I love you. God, I love this little guy. Care to power up more? I mean, I have zero party members that can use it, and I also have zero shine sprites, so I think I'll pass on that. Return someday. I sure will. Oh, we don't want to talk to you yet because we haven't gone to the Thousand Year Door, but we do have some stuff here to take care of uh oh oops you know what we have to go through this area button button right across up 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 and that puts us on this roof where we can get a shine piece a shine piece star piece i'm getting shine sprites mixed up a lot today which is not great but i mean here's uh <laughs> Here's a shine piece right here. Ha 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 ha. We got a shine sprite. A mysterious, powerful object. Collecting these will help. Yep, yep, yep. I already know. Very cool. And no! Not what I meant to do. There is a star piece up there that I was trying to get, but I missed. Oops. You know what? I'm going to need to go heal in a second. Not from any fight or anything, but just... Taking, uh, taking pitfall damage. Here we go. We got a second shine sprite right in a row, which is uh, pretty awesome. We're, we're already almost able to power up another party member, but, you know, I don't really need that right now considering I don't have any more party members, but at least we'll have it for the future. Okay, here we go. Now on the back of this roof, there it is. A star piece! There was a lot of collectibles right in this general vicinity. But if we continue to the left, we have this guy! He looks really seedy. This guy is bad news. Good afternoon to you, sir. I am called Grifty, the traveling minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Rogueport. If you like, I can share them with you. But it will require just a few coins. I like how this guy is like, pay me for my stories. Whereas the actual bandit was like, I will tell you every story of the Glitz Pit. Just ask me. <laughs> All right, let's see what you have. The fearsome demon, the hero who arose, the wise Goomba, the stalwart Koopa, or the four heroes. Some pretty interesting uh, titles, at least. What's this fearsome demon? I'm very curious. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor, but it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a, a great calamity befell the city, but nay, t'was a demon. The city sank below the ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. 
This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. In its den, its palace grew rich with treasures stolen from all over the world. <laughs> My ears perk up. If there is another tale you wish to hear, just ask. I, I honestly, I really like the inclusion of these. Granted, you know, paying money for it is kind of balls, but whatever. One day there came a hero who could vanquish the fell demon. Is that me? The young toad from no, not me. <laughs> from Petal Meadows was strong of an of strong of arm, but shy of voice. Wait, I love that description. <laughs> strong of arm, shy of voice. That's like <laughs> that's like pure of heart, dumb of. <laughs> All those around the boy teased him uh, endlessly about the way he spoke, but when the demon cast its fearful gaze across the lands and reached out, the young toad used his strength and honor to defend his people, and he became a hero to all despite his odd voice. If there is another tale you wish to hear, just ask. That's really wholesome. The wise Goomba. Tell me about that wise Goomba. There was a wise Goomba from Bogley Woods, gifted in knowledge of the world. When beasts rose to take the woods, this knowledge helped the people fight them. And this Goomba, who knew the way that every monster would attack, she began to think of a way to banish all monsters from the land. If there was another- oh, that was a very simple one. Uh, Stalwart Koopa! Who's this? A Koopa who traveled the world alone learned of the darkness covering the land. He went alone wherever evil dwelt and banished it with his shell and sheer bravado. The monsters grew to fear his scar, uh, the scar riddle Koopa who thwarted them at every turn. But the brave Koopa was finally taken in a trap set for him by the monsters. But then a boo who fought with the monsters came and used her magic to free him. The brave Koopa's spirit had melted the heart of the cold boo lass. There is another tale you wish to hear, just ask. Uh, four more heroes! The Boo used her powerful magic and to learn more about the evil they faced. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided, her face a grim mask. We need the toad hero of Petal Meadows and the wise Goomba of Bogley Woods. The Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. If there is another tale you wish to hear, just ask. This is actually really cool lore. I like that lore. Somehow, I'm having a feeling that uh, that's related to our previous Paper Mario 1 <laughs> party members, but I don't, I don't know for sure. I just, I just like the thought of extra lore, uh, lore grabbing, which is nice. Uh, all right, now let's go ahead and head into this pipe and take a look at some badges because it's been a bit since we've bought any badges. So I think it is time <laughs> to purchase some. So we have a few choices, some really cool choices. I kind of want this power plus. I kind of want quick change. Both would be awesome, uh, but the only thing is that they are both very expensive in BP. Uh, so I don't know how much I'll actually be using them. Flower Saver P is also nice, but I don't know how much that'll actually help in the long run. So, yeah, I'll go for Quick Change. Uh, and I don't have enough to get Power Plus P. I think that's the next one I'm gonna get is Power Plus P. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave that for now and get that another time. Uh, and we could go to the Thousand Year Door right now, but I think I wanna save that for a little bit. Uh, and instead, I'm gonna take a little swing by the bad shop on the other side of town, just because I wanna see how I can spend these 623 coins, you know, other than lore. What do you have on sale today? What, 100 coins? FP drain, drop Mario's attack by one, but regain one FP when it, ah. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Honestly, that's kind of an interesting badge, but I really like my attack power, so no thank you. Piercing blow, deliver damage that ignores an enemy's defense. Yes, give, <laughs> give me that. Last MP, actually, I hope I didn't already have one. 
Did I already have one of those? I hope not. I don't I don't think so, right? Uh sort uh ABC. I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. Gosh, I just bought it without even checking. Okay, no, I didn't have one. Good. Because I saw that you have one. And I was like, oh, I didn't even check. So that's last stampede. Uh make an enemy sleepy. Uh and close call, which I already have. Uh, there's some interesting stuff in here, too. Okay, uh, let's see. Power jump, which I don't have. Drink some ice smash. May temporarily freeze and immobilize an enemy. <gasps> that sounds cool. Increase attack power by two when Mario has five HP or less. Come on now. Are we in for the danger build? Are we in for the danger build? Look at how much, how many badges I can get, too. Have the damage Mario can take when he has... Oh, also that. That's also cool. Ooh, y'all, I might be doing a danger build today. Uh, increase attack power by two when your partner has five HP or less. Uh, I mean, uh, eh, eh. Uh, pretty lucky. Super appeal, simplifier, unsimplifier. This is actually kind of fun, but I wish instead of star power, it would just be, you know, <laughs> you get extra attack. But I guess that would be kind of okay. Um, Yeah, I'll buy this. I already have that. And I'll get an ice smash just for the funsies. Okay, I think I'll save the rest of my money because the rest I'm, I'm interested in, but not enough to spend a whole bunch on it. All right, I have some some <laughs> extra badges on me now. This is pretty awesome. Um, I'm, am I gonna just slam more BP in my level ups? Because man, I kind of want, I kind of want more of that. Also, I want more refund. Give me a refund. I'm gonna have to like go through this and reorganize, but it's not super important right now since we're not fighting anything. All right, y'all. With that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. We've gotten a little bit into our rogue port, uh, our rogue port tours, as it were. We got some shine sprites. We powered up Yoshi. We got some star pieces uh, and a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, got a bunch of badges too. And in the next episode, you know what? I think it's time to check out the trouble center because now that we are done with the chapter we should have unlocked a few more troubles to take care of so i will see you all next time the singing ella out